The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good day, everybody, and welcome to our presentation with Standard Bank Web Trader. And today we're going to be talking about international investing on Web Trader. Before I hand over to Sandesh, who will be taking you through um, the Web Trader platform, I just want to make sure everyone can hear me. So if you can, could you please lift your digital hand? Okay. Perfect. So we'll be taking questions, although we'll only take questions right at the end of the presentation. So feel free to send your questions through. And once Sandesh is done taking everyone through the um, presentation, he'll go over your questions. Sandesh, over to you. Thanks, Daniel. <clears throat> Thanks, everybody, for joining me this afternoon. Um, <clears throat> This presentation is pretty much a, an overview of our web trader platform that seeks to address the uh, the offshore requirements of our retail clients um, using the platform to gain direct exposure to some of the best stocks in the world. Uh, and obviously, you can trade uh, speculatively via the platform. So let's pretty much get started. Um, and this is really what the platform has to offer. We've, we've obviously got uh, asset classes uh, really across the spe spe spectrum, and they include shares, exchange trade funds, and exchange trade commodities, uh, contracts for difference, or as they're more affectionately known as CFDs, um, spot FX. So those are some of the uh, those are some of the uh, asset classes that we offer. In terms of um, you know uh, from a granular uh, on a granular uh, granular level. Um, we've, we obviously offer um, FX, we've got over 160 FX crosses, and those include your spot, spot precious metals like your palladium, your platinum, your gold. Um, and that's in sharp contrast to, you know, the local platform online share trading, which has about four currency futures locally. So the depth is really there when it comes to FX. And the same could be said for when it comes to uh, trading shares as well as exchange trade funds. I mean, in terms of shares, we've got we've got fourteen thousand or over fourteen thousand shares on the platform, and when it comes to exchange trade funds, we've got over two and a half thousand. The majority of those are listed in the U.S. So a very quick look at what the website um, looks like. Um, this is pretty much the the home page. Uh, you know, standard, standard Bank Blue. Please don't confuse this with the Standard Online Share Trading page. Ensure you are on the correct URL, which is www.standardbank.com forward slash web trader. Uh, it does look very similar to online share trading, so please do make sure that you are on the correct page. Um, and today's presentation, ladies and gentlemen, is really about, um, you know, our product offering, as I did mention at the very beginning. Um, and if you uh, if you are new to international investing or offshore investing and you want to get your feet wet, the best way I would suggest that you do so in a risk-free uh, manner is to sign up for a demo account. And you can do so by logging onto the or going to the homepage rather, and under the login field on the right hand side, you will see it says login to your demo account and as well as register for a demo account. You can click for register for a demo account. It'll take you to a page that um, asks you to enter a couple of details like your name, surname, your phone number, your email address. Uh, you can agree to those uh, conditions of access or T's and C's, or you don't necessarily have to. It's more for marketing purposes and uh, consent purposes. Um, click on agree and you will receive a um, login. You'll receive login details for the demo platform or the demo account. Um, which is essentially a 20-day no-obligation free trial, and you you'll be able to trade with $100,000 uh, in a simulated environment. If you need any help with the demo account, you're welcome to give our team a call. We are available till New York close time. Many of our clients are not aware of that, but we are we are open till uh, 11 p.m. as it stands right now. New York close time. Obviously, uh, when daylight savings kicks in, then we'll only be open till 10 p.m. SA time. Of course, if you have any other queries, you're welcome to drop us an email at securities at standardbank.co.za. Once you've gotten your feet wet and you're ready to take the plunge and actually invest with real hard funds, uh, you can do so by registering online. Very similar process to online share trading. If you're an existing 
Standard Bank account holder or an online share trading client, um, then the registration and the FICA in the back end is relatively simple. Obviously, FICA you would require if you are entering into a relationship with the bank, and that consists of uh, of a couple of things, namely your proof of uh, your or rather your uh, copy of your ID, uh, proof of address, usually a utility bill or a uh, telephone bill, and then finally a, a copy of your bank statement that must be less than three months old, um, if you don't bank with Standard Bank, of course. Um, if you already have an existing, if you have an existing Standard Bank account or you are an online share trading account holder, then we will endeavor to use whatever documents we have on hand to get your account up and running. Please note, ladies and gentlemen, that this is obviously a requirement and uh, our admin department are quite sticky when it comes to FICA. Um, obviously, uh, this is regulation. In addition to registration and FICA, I just want to point out one thing. Um, exchange control limits uh, opening up an account to South African individuals, um, and that is uh, purely because of exchange control. So as it stands right now, you can only open up a web trade account in the name of an individual. As previously mentioned, if you need any assistance, give us a call on 0860-121-555. And obviously, our close time is dependent on daylight savings in the U.S. There will be a consultant after 7 p.m., after 8 p.m. even for that matter, to take your call. Once you've opened up the account and you're ready to uh, go ahead and fund, there's a multitude of methods that you can use to go ahead and fund. Firstly, you can fund from your local Standard Bank account or your local banking account to the offshore account, bearing in mind, ladies and gentlemen, that you are transferring to an offshore account, so you are externalizing cash. Um, in addition to that, if you have a offshore bank account, for example, some of our clients may have a Standard Bank Isle of Man account, you can transfer funds from your Standard Bank Isle of Man account into WebTrader, provided that the relevant banking details are used correctly and your reference number is used um, in the transfer. Obviously, we, each client will have a unique beneficiary reference number. A third option would be that you go ahead and transfer via, uh, via a SHIFT account. So SHIFT is our latest uh, Standard Bank offering. It's an award-winning app. It won the MTN Innovation uh, of the Year Award last year. And you can transfer funds via Shift. If you need more information on, on Shift and how to transfer funds via Shift, um, you can go to the website Get Shift. That's G E T S H Y F T dot com. That's getshift.com. Sorry, my apologies. Dot co dot z a. Dot co dot z a. Um, and Shift essentially allows you to transfer up to one million rand offshore using the application on iOS or Android. So it is a really nifty application. I would strongly suggest that you use it. In addition to that, it's obviously it only costs you $10 to fund your web trader account. Obviously, if you're transferring funds to either dollar, euro, or pound, please note the difference in the banking details amongst the three different banks or the three different um, uh, essentially bucket accounts. You would need to transfer funds to these accounts using your beneficiary reference to link those funds to your account. Exchange controls. As you know, historically speaking, we've had very stringent exchange controls. Uh, however, there are a couple of things to note in this section. Number one, um, as of the 1st of April 2015, uh, the finance minister at the time had uh, increased the the, uh, the uh, offshore allowance or fair foreign capital allowance to 10 million rand per calendar year. And this was increased from 4 million rand pre previously. Um, this will require a tax clearance certificate. And please, ladies and gentlemen, please note that the tax clearance certificate needs to be for, uh, for foreign investment. So uh, a tax clearance certificate in good standing doesn't, uh, is not going to work. We will require a specialized tax clearance certificate. That's one for good, uh, sorry, for foreign investment allowance. If you do not want to make use or if you don't want to transfer, uh, that amount or you don't want to go through the uh, process of actually obtaining a tax clearance certificate, you can transfer up to 1 million rand for single discretionary allowance purposes whereby a tax clearance certificate is not required. So uh, in a calendar year, meaning from January to December, you can transfer up to 1 million rand 
uh, to your web trade account. Obviously, that one million rand includes travel, uh, gifts, donations, education, and it is um, it also it can it, it, it would also apply to web trader in this instance. It is it is very important that you have the necessary exchange control and regulatory authority uh, approvals in place prior to the commencement of offshore trading. Uh, you really don't want to get a call from the Reserve Bank asking you to repatriate your funds and any other uh, you know, negative implications thereafter. So moving on to a couple of um, tools on the platform. We'll start off firstly with technical analysis tools. Um, the platform is pretty flexible. It's browser-based, so there's no installation required or downloading required. Um, it's accessible behind most firewalls. Uh, for the aspirin day traders out there, we've got one-click trading that can be enabled, um, especially if you're trading FX. Um, it's also got a very powerful charting functionality, all the bells and whistles that you'd come to expect of a powerful charting tool that allows you to analyze and compare uh, any historical prices for, uh, for a multitude of instruments. And then finally, of course, order types, uh, any uh, modern platform or trading platform for that matter would need to have uh, particular order types and uh, we, we certainly do provide for that on WebTrader. It is important that you use these uh, these order types, for example, stop losses, to protect yourself against any adverse market movements. Remember that you may be sleeping, the market may gap, uh, and obviously bearing in mind that there is time difference in the markets that you would be trading on on WebTrader. So we, we certainly uh, strongly advise that our clients use stop losses when they are trading. This is pretty much what the charting functionality looks like. As you can see, all the bells and whistles you'd come to expect of a powerful charting tool. Uh, this is probably, um, or it, it, it's, it's pretty, um, pretty in-depth when it comes to your studies. As you'll notice there, we've got a, a range of studies that are available there for somebody who's looking to do technical analysis on intraday trading, or even for that matter, um, you know, somebody that uses a combination of technical analysis and fundamental analysis, which we're going to touch on next. Um, fundamental analysis essentially uh, whereby you would go ahead and use uh, you know company information financials valuations etc to arrive at a decision on whether to purchase or uh, sell a particular stock and um, this is more used for guys that are trading long term investing in shares and fundamental analysis is uh, is available on the platform for a fee of one euro ninety nine it's called the equity research module um, and for a fee of one euro ninety nine you've got access to ten thousand stocks and that includes all company valuations including buy or sell analyst ratings so it's pretty comprehensive um, I myself use it so I would certainly advise that you go ahead and uh, and and you know use that particular tool that is built into web trader it is important to note, though, that the data that is provided on the equity research module is third party. It comes from a provider called FatSet, um, and all the analyst recommendations and valuations, financials, pretty much all the, the numbers uh, and the number crunching that was done is being done by FactSet themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, let's move on to costs of the platform, and this is pretty important to uh, many of us. We obviously want to know uh, if we are getting good value for our money. In terms of the platform, um, there is no monthly charge. There's no fixed monthly fee like you would have with, uh, you know, with uh, with the, with, a, with a, an account like online share trading, for example. Um, however, there is something called a safe custody fee of 20 basis points on shares, uh, and how that works is that it takes the value of your open share position so whatever you hold in your equity portfolio um, and that is 0.2 percent of that and it's calculated on a per annum basis so it's 0.2 percent of the value of your portfolio um, and that is taken off on a monthly basis it's calculated daily but deducted on a monthly basis so if we give you an example a ten thousand dollar portfolio would pay twenty dollars or rather would you would incur twenty dollars per annum that's obviously uh, keeping in mind that the value of that portfolio doesn't change. It is important to note that no interest is paid for any positive net free equity or cash in the account and until we actually see a significant change in the uh, Federal Reserve uh, rate, um, no interest will be paid on any free cash on the account. Uh, finally, currency conversion fee. Um, if you are trading 
out of a uh, currency in your account. For example, you're trading a LSE instrument in a US dollar account. Obviously, London Stock Exchange most likely will be a uh, pound instrument. You will pay a 1% currency conversion fee. Uh, you can avoid this by obviously trading in a dollar, pound, or euro account um, and mitigate against this particular currency conversion fee. Costs. Um, Continued, we've got live pricing that is also available on the platform. Um, if you're trading FX, there is free real-time prices that is available. Um, if you're trading equities, there's 15 minute delayed prices that is available. However, if you want to get live prices for equities, you can do so by subscribing to them. And in this example, we've got the New York Stock Exchange that provides pricing or live pricing rather um, at $1 and that is for level one pricing. A uh, quick definition in terms of what level one and level two pricing is. Um, level two essentially gives you market depth of bid and offer. So it gives you the first four or five bids and offers in the market. Level one just gives you the first level of the order book on the exchange. And that is obviously a live price. So a live bid and offer that you'd view. Um, personally speaking, if you are trading uh, on a long term basis, there really is no need to get live pricing. Um, it's more essential if you're going to be trading intraday, for example, you're trading uh, contracts for different CFDs, then certainly go ahead and subscribe to live pricing uh, on WebTrader. Um, in addition to live pricing, it's just important to note that, uh, that this is taken off on a monthly basis. That's $1 per month. And uh, if we look at the New York Stock Exchange, for example, that's $1 per month. And that fee is uh, applicable to all stocks that are listed on the New York Stock Exchange. So you'd get live pricing for all the shares, uh, all the shares on the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, so FX, we've got over 160 currency pairs, as I did mention earlier. Um, you know, in terms of FX, we've got our miners, majors, and exotics. If we have a look at this particular example, you look at the USD uh, czar, it's considered a minor currency with an initial margin of 8%. Obviously, the higher margin requirement is purely because of the fact that uh, USD czar is a more volatile instrument and it's less liquid than you would have euro dollar. And for that matter, we require higher margin, uh, which obviously comes with lower, with lower gearing. And that's just to protect you, the client. Um, if you have a look at dollar czar, for example, the spread is 55 pips as opposed to euro dollar, which is two pips. And that purely is because of liquidity. Um, <clears throat> you can see the, the gearing there differs significantly between dollar czar and euro dollar. Um, if you're trading euro dollar, your margin requirement there is 2% and essentially gearing off 50 times. It's important to note that there is a minimum trade size of $5,000 and that's on an exposure level. So on an exposure level, there's a minimum trade size of $5,000. Uh, and your commission threshold whereby the commission would fall away, the $10 fee would fall away, and you'd only trade the difference between the buying and the selling price, is if you trade uh, with an exposure of $50,000 or more, and that is applicable to all sectors, whether it be minor, major, or exotic. So if you trade, um, if you trade with an exposure of $50,000 or more, then the commission of $10 of $10 would fall away and you just trade the difference between the buying and the selling price. It's just important to note, ladies and gentlemen, that we're pretty transparent when it comes to our currency pairs and our currency pricing. Many institutes or many providers out there do, will, will go ahead and tell you that they do not charge you a commission when they, when they trade or when you trade FX with them. However, just bear in mind that that fee is always built in some way or the, or the other and most of the time it's actually built into the spread so you'd be crossing a bigger spread to get out of a position um, so just be just be careful when you do trade uh, with those providers equities um, you've got over 14,000 available on the platform and obviously we've got most of the major exchanges in the world uh, you know the New York Stock Exchange we've got the London Stock Exchange um, they all are available on the uh, on the platform. In fact, ladies and gentlemen, you'd find quite a bit of depth on the New York Stock Exchange with over 70% of the world's ETFs listed on the New York Stock Exchange. You'd find plenty of depth and uh, pretty much every industry or sector that you'd like exposure to on that particular exchange. So you really, there's really no need to go to you know Europe or, or London Stock Exchange, for example. You can get that exposure. Um, on a single exchange.
obviously this this diagram really de delineates the commission and if we have a look at an example in terms of commission uh, in the US market it is six cents per share with the minimum charge of twenty dollars uh, a quick commission example if we have to buy 500 Facebook shares at hundred and twelve dollars uh, your exposure there would be fifty six thousand dollars um, if we take that uh, 500 shares and we multiply them by 0 0.06 which would be essentially the price or commission per share that will work out at thirty dollars or 0 0.05 percent of the trade so that is pretty much what you would pay in terms of commission on all other exchanges the commission works slightly different uh, it works as a percentage of the notional for example, if we look at the London Stock Exchange, it's 0.3% of the value of the trade and there's a minimum charge of £12. Exchange traded funds and exchange traded commodities. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, really exchange traded funds are a straightforward and low cost way to access the market um, and, and access a number of stocks with a single purchase. Um, they have the same trading conditions as shares and they're subjected to the same trading conditions as shares. Um, it's a $2 trillion market. It's passively managed as opposed to an actively managed uh, fund like a unit trust. Um, they obviously traded publicly on stock exchanges, therefore the name exchange traded. Um, and they provide the benefits and ease of investing in shares with the advantage, advantages of unit trust investing. Um, obviously provide you with ready-made diversification because they are able to track an index. Um, and we at Standard Bank Web Trader, we provide a range of exchange trade funds from some of the world class providers like iShares, PowerShares, um, Wisdom Tree, Vanguard, to name a few. Exchange trade commodities, they pretty much track the performance of an underlying commodity index and they trade in the same manner as, share, uh, same manner as shares, but exposure to commodities and commodity indices as well as uh, the underlying futures. Um, they are asset backed by physical bullion and they open ended uh, they o they also open ended like shares let's quickly touch on contracts for difference or CFDs um, so why do people trade CFDs it gives you the ability to leverage investments um, if you're trading any of our indices your CFD uh, margin would be um, would be from five percent and obviously implied or your gearing there would be 20 times if you're trading a stock and a blue chip stock um, for that matter uh, you would put down a 10 percent margin and obviously that gives you 10 times gearing so a quick rundown of how a CFD works um, it, it mirrors or tracks the movement of an underlying asset one to one um, they're traded on margin and usually this margin varies um, between 10 and 75 percent um, and the reason for that is purely because of volatility and liquidity and also um, you know if you're going to be shorting a stock there needs to be a bit of stock borrow um, so that it's also availability of stock borrow so we're not going to go too much into that but that's pretty much some of the reasons why the margin does vary between uh, the different CFDs that we offer they traded on margin obviously as I've mentioned quite a number of times and that implies leverage uh, it allows you to efficiently make use of your capital whereby you put on a small portion of the value of the position uh, to secure the trade the difference between what you put down to secure the trade and the exposure the difference between that is loaned essentially loaned to you and because it's essentially loaned to you um, there is a small interest Im uh, implication and you'd obviously it'll be deducted off your account at the end of the month um, CFDs also allow you to take a long or a short position so you can take advantage of both bull and bear markets so you can go long and short um, if you feel that a particular share uh, is overvalued and is going to pretty much fall out the sky or tank, uh, you can take a short position if there is a CFD written over it and essentially profit because of the share falling. We do advise that our clients do use, uh, use an SA stop loss uh, functionality that is built into the platform as part of your risk management strategy. Uh, and it, it is uh, it, it is rather advi it is advisable that you that you use it because obviously CFDs uh, are very or they can be volatile and because they traded on margin you can be closed out um, you know in, in a short space of time if the market is moving quite aggressively. So quick CFD example we've got two traders Al and Bob and they both are confident that XYZ limited shares are set to rise and they wish to both have an exposure of fifty thousand dollars. Uh, if we look at this particular example, you'll see that Al purchased the equity 
uh, with an exposure of fifty thousand uh, dollars. He purchased five hundred shares at a hundred dollars, and Bob, on the other hand, purchased a CFD, but he only purchased five hundred contracts for difference at the same price, but he put down a margin of $10,000. They both have the same exposure, but let's see what happens in a couple of weeks time uh, because of what happened in the example or what happened with this particular uh, share. So XYZ three weeks later is trading at $110 and both Al and Bob close or sell out their positions. What do their portfolios look like? Well, this graph or this this diagram pretty much shows that they both made a profit uh, and both made a absolute profit of $5,000. As you see with L, who purchased the equity, he had a return of 10%, uh, but Bob, who purchased the CFD, had a return of 50%, and that's purely because of the difference in what they put down to gain exposure to the trade. L obviously put down 50000 to gain exposure to 50000 Bob put down 10000 to getting to gain exposure to 50,000. So uh, the implication of gearing there is pretty evident in that example. It's important to note though that the maximum loss on the equity trade is $50,000. Uh, obviously if the share goes to zero, but the CFD trader who deposited $10,000, he can lose much more than that because it's only an initial margin that he put up. If the share falls further than that, he'd obviously need to fund his account to keep his position afloat. CFDs, uh, stock CFDs commission, this is pretty much what the commission looks like in terms of trading stock CFDs. It's four cents per CFD on the US market uh, with the minimum charge of $25 and obviously that varies throughout the different exchanges as well. Index CFDs commission, there are about 18 available on our platform and there is out of the 18 that are available, 17 of them do not have an upfront commission. You're pretty much trading the difference between the buying and the selling price. And if you'd like to take a view on a particular market, for example, you'd like to take a view on the Euro stocks or the Germany top 30 or the Nikkei, you can do so via our, our platform uh, by trading an index CFD. Taxation, ladies and gentlemen, near and dear to everybody's hearts. Um, so firstly, it's important to note that we at Standard Bank Web Trader, we are not tax advisors, so it would be best to speak to a specialist uh, tax expert or tax advisor uh, when it does come to these matters. Um, but we will just touch on a few things here that we do think is important. Firstly, local tax does apply. Your tax is calculated in RANDs. Um, IT3Bs, which essentially is your dividend and your interest report, will be available at the end of the SA tax year. Um, however, there is something that needs to be mentioned with regards to dividends that are received in the US. So if you are trading any US instruments and the majority of our clients do trade US instruments, uh, the, uh, the US dividend withholding tax is set at a default rate of 30%. However, you as a South African citizen, you are eligible for a 15% relief at source. So essentially what would happen is that if a US dividend is declared, you would be taxed at 15% provided that you have a form w8 ben in place if you don't have this form in place you would be taxed at 30 percent as of the first of jan 2017 a form w8 ben has become mandatory uh, that is administered via our via globe tax so you need to get the w8 ben via globe tax it costs you 35 dollars to register with globe tax and obviously fill out a w8 ben but you are covered for three calendar tax years or three calendar years, which are essentially three U.S. tax years. The U.S. tax year runs from Jan to December. And once your W-8 Ben is in place, you will be approved for any U.S. trading and you will be taxed at 15% on any U.S. dividends uh, that are received in your account. So it is mandatory, as I did mention, for trading U.S. instruments. Um, and you need to go to the website, uh, which is www.globetax.com in order to register for a, uh, for a W8 Ben. Obviously, if you do create an account right now, uh, this information is up on our website on spe under special announcements. So before you click on launch web trader, on the left hand side, it says trading US instruments and all the information that you require to go about registering for a W8 Ben or registering a W8 Ben is available online. Alternatively, if you create a new account, uh, this is emailed to you um, in the welcome email with all your banking and beneficiary details. It's just important, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, that we are not tax advisors, so please consult a tax specialist prior to investing offshore. 
uh, especially if you require um, more specific tax advice, we cannot provide you any, any advice uh, when it does come to matters of tax. So a couple of frequently asked questions. Firstly, how are trades confirmed? They are confirmed online uh, or via an email or, or rather both. You will receive an email and you'll also receive a pop-up online that your trade has matched either selling or buying or any other cash deposits that are made into your account. So pretty much activity is recorded online. How long did it take to withdraw funds? Um, send us an email or give us a call. Uh, we welcome, we, we're happy to go ahead and draw any settled cash that you have available in your account. Um, you can draw funds to an international account, so you don't necessarily have to bring the funds back to South Africa. If you'd like to keep the funds outside the country, you're welcome to do so. Many of our clients have Standard Bank Isle of Man accounts or any other accounts held offshore. Um, so if they do would decide to do some profit taking, they can draw cash to an Isle of Man account or any other account for that matter and not repatriate those funds to SA. Can I transfer my account from my existing broker or bank to WebTrader? You certainly can do so. Um, we do not charge for an incoming share transfer. So any share transfers coming to the Standard Bank of South Africa, WebTrader, we don't, uh, we don't charge. Uh, just make sure that those, the shares are obviously listed on our platform. Um, and also make sure that they are, if there are any charges, they most likely will be incurred uh, from your ex-broker. Password maintenance, if you try and uh, log into your account with an incorrect password three times or more, uh, you will be locked out. You'll need to contact the call center for further assistance to unlock your account pending a verification of your identity. All right, so moving on to the second part of this presentation, ladies and gentlemen, which is essentially offshore investing. And this is uh, a big disclaimer out there. This is by no means advice. We, are, uh, we do not provide you with any advice. So uh what we what we what we actually presenting here are just a couple of uh, um, options so to speak uh, in terms of exchange trade funds that you can have a look at as a starting point uh, to get your feet wet in the world of uh, of international investing so firstly why do we why do we invest offshore um you know two things diversification uh, reduce country risk obviously uh, every country has has country risk um you know south africa is none the different We've got uh, we've got plenty of country risk, economic and, and and political risk essentially spills over into the economy. Um, secondly, we've you've got a greater spread of selection of shares with Web Trader. You've got two and a half thousand exchange traded funds and over fourteen thousand shares to to look at in markets like the U.S., U.K., Europe, as well as Hong Kong. So you are really spoiled for choice when it comes to uh, Standard Bank Web Trader. You're trading with a bank that you are that you are uh, familiar with. Uh, the second reason for diverse, or rather the second reason for investing offshore would be for currency hedge. So obviously if the RAND uh, decides to go to 14 RAND or 15 RAND as we've seen in the last two years or so, it did touch those levels. Um, it does obviously um, add some shine to your profits, but the opposite is also true if the RAND does, uh, does strengthen as we've seen recently um, with the positive sentiment um, uh, on, on the entire uh, South African you know, political landscape. Up until recently, we've only had limited options like your due listed, such as your All Mutual and Richmonds, etc. Uh, and also your local list, locally listed ETFs like your Signia, Etrix suite, suite of ETFs. But that range isn't there and they, they really lack depth. So this is really where WebTrader comes into its own. And if we have a quick look at what the exchange trade product market looks like, you'll see that we've got about 71 uh, plus exchange traded funds or exchange traded products. Uh, and the majority of those uh, funds are held in New Gold, New Platinum and Satrix 40. So we certainly do have a wide range of equity, commodity, international currency, fundamental like your Satrix Rafi and debt instruments on the platform. Obviously, South Africa pales in comparison to the U.S. ETF market, which has 1,411 ETFs um, and a, a market cap in excess of two trillion U.S. dollars. It's the largest ETF market in the world, and as I have previously mentioned, it accounts for more than 70% of the ETFs in the world. So the U.S. market really, really does have all the depth that you require. So U.S. listed ETF um, continued, uh, as I've mentioned earlier, there is certainly no clear advantage to buying a sterling denominated London listing, ET London, li London listed ETF rather. 
um, you can get the same exposure on the US market. And I'm not discouraging you from purchasing an ETF uh, in the London Stock Exchange. Of course, if you find an ETF that has a, a much lower total expense ratio, then by all means, go ahead and purchase it on the London Stock Exchange. Uh, and getting to total expense ratios, that's one of the principles that you should actually abide by when you are purchasing an exchange trade fund or selecting an exchange trade fund. Firstly, ensure that it has a total expense ratio of less than 0.5%. So total expense ratio or TER or TER is essentially the annual, um, the annual cost of running the fund. So it's the internal cost of running the fund, which you don't, you don't necessarily see. It's built into the price. Um, That'll be one of the things that you want to look for. So you want to look for a cheap fund, one that's less than a half percent. And secondly, you also want to ensure that the fund has high liquidity. And we, we refer to a fund that has high liquidity with one that has a basket uh, of shares in excess of $100 million assets under management. So one that has a couple of blue chip stocks essentially or essentially would be, uh, would be a good exchange trade fund to look at. BlackRock iShares, they're the largest uh, ETF provider in the world. I would suggest, ladies and gentlemen, you have a look at BlackRock iShares. They've got an excess of 300 uh, exchange trade funds, and you'd find uh, really an exchange trade fund for every industry and sector there. So a couple of broad-based U.S. ETFs I want to touch on. Uh, firstly, we've got the Spider Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF, DIA. That's the share code. It tracks the Dow Jones Industrial Index. Those are some of the companies uh, that it, um, you know, that it actually tracks, uh, or rather that are in the basket. Rather, you've got Walt Disney, Goldman Sachs, your 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 McDonald's, Visa. So a lot of household names that are included in this particular exchange traded fund. The next one is a Spider S and P 500 uh, Trust ETF. The share code is SPY. It is the first ETF ever listed. Um, it tracks the S and P 500 index, which is the uh, top 500 companies in the US or 501 companies if I'm not mistaken um, and these are some of the shares that it actually sh that it actually tracks as you'll see there's a couple of shares that overlap with the DIA or the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Spider Gold Trust ETF the share code GLD tracks the gold price in US dollars please don't confuse this with the APSA New Gold the APSA New Gold tracks the gold price in RAND this one obviously tracks the gold price in US dollars. The Indian ETF, if you're looking to get some exposure to the Asian economy, um, you can purchase the iShares S&P, India Nifty 50 Index Fund, the share code there being INDY, um, and it tracks the 50 largest Indian listed stocks. Um, and those, they range across Tata, Reliance, HDFC, ICC Bank, to name but a few. Social media focused ETF. So if you're looking to get some exposure to the social media uh, space, you can buy an exchange trade fund that gives you exposure to all of that. Um, and some of those uh, companies that are included there would be LinkedIn, Tencent, uh, Twitter, Facebook, to name a few. Cryptocurrency ETNs that are available on the platform, so exchange traded notes. You can also get exposure to Bitcoin and Ethereum exchange traded notes on the platform. They track the two largest. Uh, we've got Bitcoin and Ethereum ETNs. Obviously, those are the two largest cryptocurrencies, and they're available in euros or Swedish krona. If you just type in Ethereum or Bitcoin, you will see um, those results pop up on screen. There is no delayed price available for this particular exchange you need to get a live pricing if you want to see a price. Uh, for that alternative, you can actually Google the price. And you can do so by going to free information resources. So if you go to Google Finance, for example, um, you can t drop in the name of the share. You get a ruling price for a particular share on most exchanges. It's in real time. And uh, and this is really the reason why I, I, I you know there's really no need to get live pricing. If you are investing for the long term, you want to get an idea of where the ruling price is for a particular share. Uh, drop it, drop the share code, or drop the name of the share into Google Finance, and you'd be able to find um, a live price. In addition to a live price, you'll find information that relates to uh, that particular share, news, company reports, analyst reports. Um, and all of this is available free on Google Finance. In terms of preference, you can look at Yahoo Finance as well. So it pretty much does exactly the same thing as Yahoo Finance. It just, like I said, comes down to preference. And iShares by BlackRock, so iShares.com. 
uh, pop into this website. This is just one of the uh, exchange trade fund websites or providers that are available on our website. They are the largest, and that's the reason why I mentioned them. And they they pretty uh, they they have quite a bit of depth in terms of the range of exchange trade funds that are available from industry and sector. Uh, just pop in your parameters in the top right hand side and you'll really find an exchange trade fund that tickles your fancy. Contact details, ladies and gentlemen, you can drop us an email, you can visit our website, give us a call. Alternatively, follow, follow us on Twitter. We are at SBG Trader ZA um, uh, and just fo follow us. We, we put up quite a few interesting posts uh, as well as articles that lead to our community. All right, and that pretty much concludes the presentation. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you very much, Sandesh. Um, so just to make sure, please can everyone um, take note of the disclaimer. And if you have any questions, we've got one so far. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to send okay. them through. Um, in the meantime, Sandesh, can you just... Okay, cool. Thanks, Daniel. So, Fritz, I see you asked a question. Is that €1.99 per annum for fundamental research? No, it's per month. It's per month. So, it's €1.99 per month. Okay. Does anyone else have questions? In the meantime, Sandesh, can you just um, tell people how to contact you? Um, yeah, sure. If you... Sure, sure. So, so if you guys wanna, if you guys have any specific questions um, that relate to uh, the platform, you're welcome to pop us an email. It's securities at standardbank.co.za. Uh, one of our consultants will will reply to you. Uh, alternatively, if it's a bit more in depth, they'll probably pass it on to me, and and I'll be happy to to assist and contact you to uh, to get those funds, or rather to get uh, to get your answer, your question answered. Can you transfer funds from OST to WebTrader? Are they uh, linked? Hi, Trevor. Um, no, unfortunately not. And the reason for that is because online share trading is a trading account with JSC. So you'd need to transfer funds from your online share trading JSC account into your normal check account or your che uh, current account and then transfer from there to WebTrader. Um, obviously, the exchange control governs the check account or current account and not a trading account. So you'll need to transfer from a trading account or rather from a check account or current account to WebTrader. Alternatively, if you have an offshore account, Trevor, you can transfer from your offshore account to WebTrader. Uh, and if you have a shift, uh, if you have a sh if you have the shift application, you can transfer from the shift application into uh, into WebTrader. Okay. Um, just for anyone who joined in late or after the presentation had started, um, the presentation will be available on. Um, the web trader platform and on our YouTube channel, so you'll be able to catch up with those. Um, All right, Trevor, I see you have a follow up question. I have a Swedish bank account, can I use that? So, uh, I'm assuming you're referring to you have a Swedish bank account offshore. Uh, yeah, you can transfer funds from your Swedish bank account into web trader. It's really up to you. Just basically bear in mind that you need to trans when you're doing the transfer from your Swedish bank account to web trader that you convert the US dollars on the Swedish end. So don't transfer Swedish krona into a dollar account. Make sure that you transfer, and I'm assuming the Swedish bank account is in Swedish krona. It could be in euros. I'm just making an assumption here. But whatever account, whatever currency you're transferring into WebTrader, for example, pound, dollar, or euros, make sure that you do the, you do the conversion on the remitting end and not, uh, or you, you do the transfer on the on the my apologies, you do the conversion on the remitting end as on the beneficiary bank side, we do not convert. So if the currency does not match the account, the bank will reject it. So, and unfortunately, we don't have much control over that as our accounts, our cash management accounts sit with, uh, with Deutsche Bank. Ria van der Waal asks, can non-SA citizens use this? Uh, Ria, yes, uh, foreign nationals can use it provided you are not a US citizen. If you're a U.S. citizen, then you cannot use WebTrader, and that is purely because of FATCA, and I'm not going to go into that piece of legislation. You can Google it, um, but it's basically, to put it to you very bluntly, the U.S. does not allow trading uh, or use, use of a financial service whereby they cannot track a client or track a U.S. citizen, to put it very, very bluntly. I mean, best you go and Google it, but to put it to you very bluntly, U.S. citizen not allowed, but 
any other client can come on board. So yeah, foreign nationals can use it. Carlo Gill, if I wanted a broker to do the trades for me and also trade myself, can this be done? Uh, so Carlo, because we are, we do not provide you with any advice, uh, we can we can trade on your behalf in terms of you providing us with instruction to trade. It's not something that we actually advise. We'd much rather that you use the platform to trade. So trading online or using the uh, application within the Standard Bank app. Um, um, but we, if you, I think your question is more around as in we trade on our uh, discretionally using your account. We can't do that. We can't trade uh, on your behalf. Uh, you know, using my, I can't trade using my discretion. It has to be, you tell me, hey, Sandesh, listen, trade, uh, buy 100 Apple shares. I'll gladly execute the trade for you. But uh, I cannot use my discretion to invest your money or trade on your behalf. Um, all right, Trevor, okay, I assume the payment on Swedish side would be set up like an international outward payment to the web trade account. With the reference link into my account with web yes correct trevor yeah so your beneficiary reference on web trader would be provided to you um if you don't have an account uh, uh yet when you actually create an account the welcome email will have your beneficiary reference it usually ends in usd euro or gbp the new references the older references pre-2015 would not have a usd at the end there'll just be a number uh, but please do include that beneficiary reference when you're doing the transfer as it's the only thing that links your uh, web trade account to um, uh, to the funds, uh, you know. So so please do use that ref that reference. Um, if for some reason you omit the reference, just send us a uh, send us an email with the proof of payment, and we'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and and get those funds allocated to your account, provided obviously the reference numbers match, etc., and the funds uh, the, the the amounts match. Okay, so Carlo Gill, would that then be on a different platform if I would like to fund an account for a broker to trade on specific stocks? Carlo, you're going to have to consult somebody else. Unfortunately, we can't help you in that regard. Um, WebTrader essentially is a DIY platform, um, and uh, you know this is more for the investor that wants to you know uh, make those investments using the very own discretion. So you're going to have to you know make more inquiries around that. Unfortunately, we can't provide you with that type of service that you're looking for. Okay, thank you very much, everyone. If you have any further questions, um, Sadesh, do you want to just give them a round? Of yeah, sure, guys. If you want, if you guys if you have any further questions, like I said, we are open till till uh, till 11 p.m. I'm not yet till 11 p.m., but we do have a consultant uh, standing by uh, till 11 p.m. So if you need any trades to be executed, if you are having issues with your account, if you have a query at 9 p.m. at night, by all means, give us a call. Somebody will take your call. Uh, our telephone number is 0860-121-1, uh, sorry, 121 That's 860 And you can drop us an email, securities at standardbank.co.za. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Sandesh. Um, Thank you, Janelle. That was very informative. I hope everyone got what they're looking for. And as always, if you haven't or if you have any follow-up questions, do feel free to contact WebTrader directly. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day.